Hello folks and welcome back to I think it'll be a pretty short episode today on our BMW E36 1000 Euro EV build project. So now that we're getting into autumn and inevitably heading towards winter some of you may be wondering how I'm going to keep my, my myself toasty warm and the windscreen uh, demisted in our trusty uh, 1000 euro cheap and cheerful E36 build. Now, obviously, we don't have a source of hot water courtesy of our super inefficient engine anymore. So the most obvious way to produce heat is going to be with electricity. Now, there are some high voltage uh, heaters available that we could have adapted um, but they tend to be expensive uh, probably the most powerful one is the tesla model s heater and that would you know probably go around 200 to 250 euros second hand so i was having a look around and i think i have found quite an acceptable solution Ta-da! What we have here is a what is called an auxiliary uh, PTC heater uh, from a BMW E87. And what this guy does uh, is it takes 12 volt DC power and gives us about 1.2 kilowatts of uh, heat. And interestingly, this particular one uh, is a perfect fit for the E36 uh, heater box. Uh, so we'll be having a look at that in a few minutes. Um, but, and this is the really neat thing, these things are extremely cheap on eBay. Uh, I bought a few of them, uh, but this particular one uh, cost me, I believe, something like 15 pounds sterling with free sh with free shipping and uh, they're available in all kinds of shapes and sizes uh, to pretty much fit any vehicle uh, that you may be thinking about converting now some of you may be thinking at this stage well you know okay so that's going to run on the 12 volt system uh, so it's going to take a lot of current and that's true it'll take about 100 amps uh, that being said uh, that would be necessary when it's running at full power we probably won't really need to run it at full power continuously and running at 12 volts means uh, that it's fairly universal for whatever vehicle uh, that you may be converting so this is the part that we're going to use in our uh, build now you then may be saying well how do we go about controlling this thing i mean yeah we could just use a contactor or a, re a relay capable of sw switching 100 amps at 12 volts but of course in today's world of high tech these things already have a little control board mounted in them so i thought why don't we try to use that because it basically comes free so as i said i bought a few a few of these and one of them i bought was insanely cheap because it was been sold as non-functioning and uh, i got it for six pounds uh, with free postage and the reason it was non-functioning non was that one of these little high side switch devices in here is dead so this is Fairly particular to the E87 and BMW uh, board, but I'm pretty sure regardless of what the make or model of the one that you're deciding to hack, they will pretty much follow the same uh, pattern. And what we've got here is we have uh, three, in this case, these are um, high side, smart, intelligent power switch type thingies. 
and we have a microcontroller and we have some support circuitry and on these little four uh, connections here there was a LIN bus uh, and a 12 volt um, logic supply. So I decided I didn't really want to mess about with that because fun though it would be to control them with LIN bus, uh, we have no idea what the protocol is for this thing and you know, yes, I could in theory reverse engineer it, go find someone with an e E87 and tap into it and then play it back to this thing and la 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 la. But I'm not getting any younger and there's a lot of projects going on. So, looked up a data sheet for these smart switch things and it turns out they're incredibly simple. Uh, basically, what is pin one here, where you'll see I have soldered this little black wire. I'm hoping this is going to come out. Uh, so the little black wire solder onto pin one. All you you have to do is to connect this guy to ground, and your uh, switch turns on. So, if we were to basically take a working one of these and solder a wire onto uh, each pin one of our high side switches, and have three wires coming out. We could have low, medium and high power just by connecting a, a ground. No need for all of this go me stuff here. So, as they say on the cookery programs, here's one I modified earlier. And you'll see here that I basically took the logic board out or control board or whatever you want to call it. Soldered on three wires and brought them out here uh, just to tree bear. Um, just a three, uh, just a low little 0.5 mil wire. So if we apply 12 volts here, ground here, we can turn the three sections of the heater on or off by just connecting a ground uh, to the to, to any combination of these three, or connect all three of them to ground, and you turn the thing on full belt. So let's go out to the car and have a quick look and uh, show you how we're going to be mounting this thing. Alrighty guys, so we're out at the E36 now. And uh, one of the reasons that I really like this car is that uh, getting at the heater matrix is very, very easy. Uh, you just need to unscrew the glove compartment here. It's about six uh, screws that pops out and the heater matrix uh, is then basically in here and can be just slid out um, into this area here. Now, as you can see, I've already uh, removed it and cut uh, the coolant pipes here. I just cut them off. I've left them here because they'll make an excellent conduit uh, for the wires uh, that we'll be sending out. Also clipped on to the heater matrix uh, is this little multi-plug here. So I just unclipped that, uh, cut the pipes, took out two screws, and then slid the matrix out. Uh, so I'll probably do as well as I'll throw a vacuum cleaner in there just to get out any bits of dirt. Now, this is our new um, electric heater, uh, as we saw earlier. And this guy then is basically just going to pretty much slide in to the place here or the old uh, water-based heater. I'll try to get my hand out of the way. Um, let's see, there we go. So that's going to sit in there. We'll have to make a little... Uh, thing to seal this off here I have a few ideas on how to do to do that but then what we'll have is we'll have a 12 volt positive terminal on that bar a 12 volt ground and a way to switch the various um, elements the three uh, power switches that are inside the control board with these three wires here well alrighty guys hope you've enjoyed this one um, I'm not going to bore you to tears with images of me making up a mounting bracket type thing to mount the heater in there. But we will come back when I have it all mounted up and we can run some tests, put a thermocouple into the vents and uh, basically see what kind of heat that we get out of it. 
and uh, see what uh, kind of power that it draws from our 12 volt system. So that's it for now. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check links in the description for my Patreon and PayPal in case you should wish to financially support my particular form of madness and let me do more of it. And there will also be a link in the description to my GitHub where you will find information, circuit diagrams and all kinds of fun open source projects. So until next time, uh, try not to electrocute yourselves and happy PTC heating.